Welcome to CSBN, your number one station for church news. Our lead story is from a small town in Idaho, Lewiston, from a church called Orchards Community Church. Their lead off pastor, James, dubbed the Mean Green Machine, is taking a much needed sabbatical. You might have seen him preaching from the pulpit, setting up chairs, shaking hands, and even vacuuming when needed, but he plans to step back and rest up before the upcoming fall season. We went around and interviewed the other players to see how the church is managing. They told me that they have been studying James relentlessly and even picked up on some of his endearing mannerisms along the way, all to ensure that the ministry still goes on. Well, you know, we're all about the next man up, you know, next man up. We just got to keep our heads on straight, keep doing what we do. The boys have been practicing all season, watching game film, really hitting the books hard. We are prepared for this. You know, we got a good team and I think we'll be all right in the weeks ahead. We'll miss the mean green machine, but it's like I said, we are about the next man up. We got a good solid team right now and we're excited to see what God is going to do in the weeks to come. You know, it's been so good to be here, and we're glad uh, for the trade. We're so thankful that, that they brought me in here. We're thankful to be part of this team. And the Green Machine, he's, he's just been such a blessing, and I, I so value his mentorship. Sorry. We're glad to be here, and I'm glad for him. I just am excited to learn from him, but I'm also excited for, for the chance that he gets to take some time off and, and to rest. He's on IR, and going to get away, do some traveling, and I'm excited for that. But we're, we're trying to figure out we're trying to figure out how we can step in and help and be a part of things and, and step in where the green machine, you know, is leaving a void right now. Sorry, it's the Cardinals, you know. Yadier Molina and Albert Pools, they're back together. Final seat, it's a big deal. i got to listen all the time. We're just glad for this, and I'm excited, you know, be a part of it. Yeah, James is a, is a great mentor. You know, he's really helped me develop, uh, you know, being a preacher and a pastor. And so, you know, I owe a lot to him. But, you know, it's going to be a long three months. But Coach just keeps telling us, you know what, keep watching game film, keep studying up. And, and you know, I, I even started eating peanut butter. You know, Mean Green Machine does it all the time. So I've been eating lots of peanut, putting it in everything. I'm putting it in, in cookies. I'm putting it in oatmeal. Uh, I'm putting it in chili, like anything I can get my hands on. And I, eat, I, even, started, I even started being a Browns fan. You know, it's all about unity and synergy, something that he's been really great at creating. The Green Machine is going on a much-needed sabbatical for the next few months, and we're really happy for him. But it's next man up, you know. we got to do what we got to do to get the job done. We want to do this in honor of, of his leadership and his example. Yeah, James is a huge part of the team here at Orchards Community Church. All the team looks up to him. He's a great asset to OCC and uh, is respected for his leadership skills and his uh, huge Bible knowledge. I remember when I first went back and helped to recruit him back in Cape, uh, we became friends and uh, we remain, remain friends. Uh, he's even brought me on staff here at OCC. So we're going to get through the summer and in good fashion and we looked forward to the fall kickoff season when we get the mean green machine back with us and we're running full force again. Truly a Cinderella story. I have no doubt that the team will continue preaching God's word and living for Jesus. Up next, a church in Satillo, Texas where their worship pastor can actually sing on key. Stay tuned. 